Well, when the and a town establishes a superstore with both groceries and all sorts of retail. There's <clears throat> other room for other improvements. So some places, as soon as they get to a population of 40,000 or more, I noticed that they built another one. And then a caste system comes and evolves from that, which results in the good one, the old one, and then the new one. There's so many different kinds of things there, but they both pretty much do the same thing. It's really disturbing to think about that kind of stuff. What do you think about that? All right. You seem uncomfortable by that question. Perhaps we should uh, bring up another topic in this discussion, in this dinner. So what do you guys think? I know I laid it on pretty thick, but... Well, I for one think that one store is too many and other local stores are going to close down. As a result from this, I think it's kind of funny that they have to build two stores that act as one kind of source place for people to go to in the first place. But that's just the economy. Hey, what are you doing over there? Quit standing over there like a weirdo and come sit with us. Who is that? Oh, this is old Dougie. He likes to wander into people's homes. I smell the cooking from outside. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, they made apple pie. Dougie, Dougie, oh, how I missed you. Oh, roast beef, I see. (laughs) Well, you're welcome to it. How's work been treating you? Oh, it's treating me fine, okay. (laughs) I really want someone to, you know, marry me and take care of me for the rest of my life. You know, where I can find someone like that? (laughs) You're silly. (laughs) Eh, I'm serious. Fine, I'll just sit over here. Uh, So, hey, I got a proposition for you. I do like a good proposition. I'll give you one guess what's in this handkerchief. Uh, better not be a bloody nose again. I'm a serious person with a serious proposition. All right, Dougie, let's hear it, okay? Let's see what's in your dumb handkerchief. Have you ever heard of bone replacement? Is that how they make people taller? Oh, yes, but not quite. If you look closely at this particular bone, it was used as a ritual and it gave the person powers and abilities beyond comprehension. Oh, uh, money's the only oh, power no, I you need. you don't quite understand. Uh, Dougie, I just don't understand you. Perhaps maybe uh, you could give a presentation later in my office? Perhaps maybe we can talk about big picture stuff like, you know, you're working for your father now, and you're going to take over his business later on. Perhaps... I don't want to hear anything about what's going on right now. You have to trust me. I want that bone. <laughs> don't we all... This is just another one of uh, Dougie's get-rich-quick schemes. Oh, uh, he's right. Uh, what? Honey, you're just going through a phase. All the girls at the hair salon are getting bone implants. Why can't I have a bone implant? It's not fair. You guys aren't fair. Get out of here. Uh, I just don't know what that girl is even thinking. Yeah, you're probably going to say she gets it from my side of the family. I'll go help her. No, son. I'm going to go handle this. I'm going to go chase her down right now. What do you think about supermarkets selling clothes now? <laughs>